Hundreds of evacuees have made their way to the mid-state already. News Channel 5's Alexandra Cohen went to a local mosque where eight families are staying during the hurricane. 35 Hurricane Irma evacuees are staying at the Almaty Islamic Center. Hearing people have been dead because of it, people have been drowning. Yeah, it's kind of scary. Eight families with young children arrived in Nashville safe. <laughs> It was terrible for me when I drive 16 hours and I'm a woman uh, between the trucks. Two times the truck <coughs> won't, you know, I want to inside the truck, but God help us. All of these children are sleeping in the mosque off Nolansville Pike. We put a blanket on the floor and, and we sleep here. It, it's like better than just staying back in Jacksonville and sleeping there and just like drown. And the images he's seen on TV terrify him. Hurricane Irma will like at like attack you and like you you will die. You will die. He said all of these families are grateful for the state of Tennessee welcoming them with open arms. We came here and then they opened like the doors to us, they gave us food, water, shelter. They gave us everything we needed. And they always like come every single day asking us, do you need anything? But once I spoke to some of the mothers, I learned a couple of them are without vital necessities. Baby Rakaya is just 20 days old and right now her family is trying to find her medical care. While the families left Florida with nothing but the clothes on their backs. They helped us so much. They tell me they will go home with full hearts. Right now they're washing their clothes in the sink and then drying them out here on the rail. I'm told they also need a mechanic to look at this car before they head back to Florida. Reporting in Wedgwood, Houston, Alexander Cohen, News Channel 5. And we have notified TEMA that those families may need assistance. They told us the Red Cross will be checking on them this week.